Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another reaction video from yours truly, Jimmy Bay Bay. And I am joined by Nick the Geek, who is now, he's pretty much the face of the Geek Buddy at this point. So, hey, how you doing today? How, how are you doing the face of Geek Buddy? You know what? How does that feel? Uh, the, face, the face of Geek Buddy is adorable. The face of Geek Buddy is happy. The face of Geek Buddy is ecstatic because one of our videos, Jimmy, reached 10,000 views. Like, I am blown. Much appreciated, people. Much appreciated. Blown away that what we do gets that much attention. We're like, growing, baby. Couldn't growing. believe it. Couldn't believe it when I found out. Just so happy to hear it. The fact that people tune in. I mean, I do this. I do my anime reviews. I do anything else I can do. You're here all the time. But we do this for fun. And the fact that us enjoying ourselves is making other people enjoy themselves, especially to that volume, is just brilliant to me absolutely brilliant it warms my heart it truly it truly does because i am a genuinely happy person and i like to make other people happy so yeah if we're getting those kind of views we're doing something right um we've done we did the final scene of kantara on our la on our last video yes, today sir. we're gonna go all the way to the beginning scene from a different movie though we were going to be doing the entry scene for the movie rolex um no, no the villain Rolex. What's that? The villain is called Rolex. Oh, the villain. Oh, it's Vic. Okay, okay, okay. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I jump in these things. Yeah, sometimes that's... I tune out the producer stuff. I apologize. I'm a little bit of a mess sometimes, but it's the Vic. It's from Vikram, and it's the villain Rolex. His entry scene from the movie Vikram. Okay, we figured that out. I've and nailed it. First time. Cut to the producer. This actor has never played a villain up until this movie. He's always been a good guy. So, so that's always interesting, interesting to see. It, it'd be interesting to see how he carries himself, how yeah. the character comes across, especially with it being foreign cinema, because that's difficult to translate to a Western audience. Yeah. So if you got nothing else to say and you're ready to go, because I'm I know you're queued up. We can we can hit that play button in exactly three ready when you are two. One play. Music is on point. Yeah. हमारे साइड में माल गायब होने का कारण विक्रम नाम का एक आदमी था वो बहुत बार मरने का नाटक किया है और बहुत बार वापस जिंदा होने का ऐलान भी किया है कहते हैं कि उसका नामो निशान नहीं है मैं नहीं मानता अगर जिंदा हो तो वो पोते के साथ ही होगा सुना है कि उसका पोता अमेरिका में है। 
Where'd he go? <laughs> like Batman. Yo! <laughs> That's pure evil. Oh, there's his Joker. That's pure evil right there. That's cold. Rolex. Sir. Bob says, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Just, sir. Yes, sir. Sheer Shikar Pinikle to Jungle Kushara Machi. Just Sheer Pukara. To Jungle. I like the the music change. Yeah. Guy looks like the Hindi Robert Downey Jr. And I mean with the way his facials and the way he carries himself. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take lead on this one. I'm gonna say this right now. That is the perfect way to introduce a. I'm assuming he's a crime boss type character. That's what I got from that. That's the perfect way to introduce a crime boss character. That scene was perfect. The music that they used to set the tone leading into it, and then afterwards, once you like, they did the face reveal was amazing. I like how they kind of tease the face review and they kind of yeah. made you merit like sit in like okay come on let's 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 see I'll the face see of this, this big bad is. and then they do it it was powerful i'm very curious to see how well known it was that this guy who i guess routinely plays the good guy how well known was it that he was playing the villain here because if mm -hmm. this was something they were able to kind of keep a secret 
and they and they did that you know drawn out reveal and then they did it that would be extremely a, a, like a really powerful moment yeah and uh I know in this day and age, that's really hard to do with how the internet is and all the social media things. But if they were able to pull it off, that would be an incredibly amazing moment. Um, I'm, I'm watching. This is the next one. I'm, I, I know I've put a few on there and 2.0 when I watched it the other day, it was kind of just a spur of the moment thing. The next one I'm watching is going to be Vikram for this scene. That's how, that's how much it did it for me. I, I thought that was amazing. Yeah. That's, that's exactly how you introduce a crime boss. Well, cinematography, top notch. Soundtrack, top notch. Costume, top notch. Effects, top notch. Everything in that scene was high quality. It was the impact from when he grabbed the dude down. Yeah. And <laughs> Straight away, the blood spray, everything was so well done. His acting, he does that before he says a word. That, That's that yeah. build of rage from sitting there. And trying to stay calm by taking his drugs and drinking his booze and doing everything else, and then he just built, 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 and everyone complains at him, and complains at him, and complains at him, and then he snaps. Yeah, and you finally see the tiger bare its teeth, as opposed to sitting there timid and just paying enough. Uh, as I've said, it comes across as Vikram is Batman, and that's his Joker. Yeah, he it's had that evil it. laugh it's... after yeah. <laughs> chopping the dude up. Uh, uh, I'm going to be watching this one, Jim. Like, yeah, this is definitely on my list. This film looks really, really cool. Um, Vic, I can't believe the age of the actor that plays Vikram. Just on a different note, he's in his seventies. Main character, oh, okay. no, yeah, I, I've seen it. Yeah, I've uh, seen it. main character in his seventies. But on the other note, I said it during the trip there while we were watching it. Then the villain reminds me of Robert Downey Jr. And I don't mean the way he looks. I mean the way he carries himself, his facials and his mannerisms. It's a very similar style of acting to the way Robert Downey Jr. acts. Uh, and that pulls me in anyway because I'm a huge fan of Robert Downey Jr. Uh, but if this guy only plays heroes and now he's decided to play a villain, that's always interesting to me because yes. you, you tend to find the actors go full board and full gusto when they're trying something new. And it's interesting to see if you can pull it off. So because they have that stigma attached to them, so they want to break yes. it. And if you're able to break it, and I'm like amazed by it, you've done a wonderful job. Um, mm -hmm. I don't, I, I unfortunately, I don't have that notion of what he is like the preconceived notion that of him is a good guy, so it's not as like again powerful to me to see him as the villain. I'd be interested to see it though, like all the roles he played leading up to this because he yeah. looked like he, he belonged in that role, like that he yeah. sold me. Like it was it was so well done. I'm very excited to see this now. I I, I yes. have a feeling he's going to be a very very good bad guy. <laughs> yeah, he comes across he comes across as a right scumbag, uh, and I think that's what you need in a good villain is for them to be the yeah. right level of scumbag. And he has that sadistic, controlled rage come across in his character. Yeah, and that's always good. Um, like I said last time. I don't, I don't feel right ranking movie scenes because uh, context no. is everything. Uh, I know, I, I'm assuming like this has, this is definitely one of the first scenes in the movie, so it's a little different than the ending, like we did with the last one. But still, I think context is important. What follows up after this? Something really good could happen, and that makes it a perfect five. Something could fall flat on its face, and then this whole scene was pointless, and then I can't rank it as high. So I'll just say it was a great introduction to this character I, I and it sold me on the movie straight to the top of the list is vikram after this yeah um so with that it is the part of the show where we break we we go ahead and give you all a shout out for your comments i pick a comment of the day if you want to be part of this like this man is telling you right here you got to get on your keyboard or your phone, get on the swipe to text, whatever it is that you're using. Type us up a little comment, and maybe you'll be here. I'll, I'll give you the shout. We're looking for recommendations. The older, the better. The worse, the better. We're, we're still yeah. looking for that one that makes us go, damn, that was bad. We've gotten a few that were supposed to be bad, and we we loved them. <laughs> yeah, thought Your great job movies. is not easy. It is not an easy job. Sorry, I just like bad movies. I can't help it. But... Surprise yeah, me. Bad I movies rule. 
Um, if you can give us a combination, an old and a bad one in one, much appreciated. Well, but but if first, that happens to come from the seventies and the eighties, <laughs> even better. Eighties preferably. It's my favorite favorite time period of movies. But that's that yeah. that's neither here nor there. Um, but first, like I said, you got to get the comments in there, and we'll get you up. This time, I'm going to shout out. It's at r dot pradhan. He's basically asking us, do the iMovie trailer reaction, brother. I, I'm, uh, the movie's I, I believe. I think that's what the yeah. producer was telling us prior. Um, and if the producer's telling us about this movie, it's probably on the list. Yeah. That's what I'll say to that. So, Definitely. if you're listening, our Pradhan, and you're wanting to see it, stay tuned because it, it'll come up. We, we will have it on the list and we'll get it out for you. You just got to stay tuned. We will get there. And in the meantime, while you're staying tuned... You can check out all the other reactions we're doing because they're all really, 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 really good. And now, Nick, roll us on out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy what we do here at Geek Buddy, if you appreciate the content we put out, please consider leaving a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do in the future. It's free, really helps us out. And it's the only way the YouTube algorithm knows we exist. I love you all. I've been Nick the Geek, and I'll see you next week. And I'm Jimmy the Bebe, and I'm saying goodbye.